Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for October 20th, 2023. Welcome to Shredding Lavelle Tarot. Hi, my name is Caleb. If you are new, what's up? I'm glad that you're here. If you're returning, what up though? I'm glad that you're back, okay? Just keep in mind, Aries, that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when you come across this reading, whenever it comes into your energy is whatever it is meant for you, okay? <laughs> if you guys haven't done it yet, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment in the comment section. It's greatly appreciated, and it is very important for me to let me know that you guys are resonating with the messages, okay? Aries, my babies, my boss, kings and queens. I ain't even light my candles yet. Today was my first day of work in, I don't know, over half a month. Actually, yeah, going on two thirds of a month, okay? And boy, am I burnt out. Full disclosure, I did not meditate before I started this reading, okay? Usually I do. And usually I try to channel a song. But today, if I don't go ahead and do this right now, I might fall asleep in the middle of it, like that, okay? <laughs> Y'all gotta forgive, uh, forgive me for my weirdness today. This is what happens when I get really tired. I've been up since, si like, six something this morning, okay? And, uh, yeah, starting to feel that a little bit, like, that's my true so. <laughs> yeah, let's do it, Aries. What do we got? Spirit, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, please let me get a spectacular past, present, future read for the Aries today. Show me what I need to see for Aries today, please. I don't know about y'all, but I just feel like people in my energy are just weird, bro. Like, I just don't understand people very much. I try, you know, it's not, it's not for a lack of trying, okay? Also, I gotta wear a fucking hat for my job now, so look at my hair. Like, you know how usually it's just, like, like it looks like I style it? Nah, I just wake up in the morning and my hair is like that. Well, mother F and A, bro. Gotta wear a hat now. Look like I'm trying to style it even more or some shit. <laughs> Pissing me off, son. This is red, Jasper. Wearing it for protection. And also, I like to put these in because I feel like you guys might be able to hear me a little bit better. All right, spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, please let me get an amazing past, present, future read for the Aries today. Also, Aries, you guys are my A1 day ones, so I'm going to go ahead and give you a heads up. I am now one month into the challenge that I created. It is a six-month challenge called the Stay Sober and Challenge that I created. It is on TikTok. If you would like to follow my TikTok, it is Caleb of the Woods. You can find that in the description box if you don't know how to spell it, okay? You can also find my other TikTok channel where I post my rap videos. I only have two videos up right now and only one of them are me rapping. But guess what? It's on there and it's Caleb is 788 You can find that if you want to. Love you guys. Also, thank you for the new subscribers that I got. I finally got a new one after the past three days and I am so grateful for that. Amazingly grateful. Also, if you guys would like to donate to the channel, you can do that. Or if you'd like to reach out me or if you'd like to reach out to me for a personal reading, you can also do that. Reach out to my email. That's going to be down in the description box, too. I'm also doing two new signs after this one. I can't remember what they are right now. I'll have to check my notes. But if you guys have those signs in your Zodiac natal chart, you can also watch those videos, and they might resonate with you. Okay. <laughs> All right. We have the death card reversed. This means there's something in your energy that you're supposed to let go of, and guess what? You're still holding on to it. Okay? Not a good thing. Boom, 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 page of swords and the seven of wands reverse. Okay, we're gonna look those up really quick. We actually might just keep this as the read. This might be it right here, okay? Yeah, this is it. I feel it. This is what ancestors telling me to do. And guess what? That's what we're doing. For those of y'all that don't know, I use a book by Dusty White called The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever. Okay? I use this as a quick reference guide, but I can go ahead and tell you this right now. That seven of wands in the reversal, it means some kind of, um, um, what it's like a conclusion. It's like a uh, resolution after some kind of squabble that happened. I'm pretty sure that's what it means in the reversal because in the upright it means some type of squabble that you were unprepared for. The death card in the reversal. Death card upright means change. Okay. 
Death card in the upright means change, and it means letting go of something that's in your energy that you need to let go of because it no longer serves you. In the reversal, usually this means that you're holding on to something that is in your energy that you need to let go of, okay? But you're holding on to it for whatever reason. We don't know. Do we ever know? Do we ever know? <laughs> no, we don't, okay? Page of Swords in the uh, reversal for the future. This means you have some kind of air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Could very well be, doesn't have to be. You might have that sign in your chart, in your natal chart. You might want to look that up on cafeastrology.com. Cafeastrology.com. I can't talk right now. As long as you know where you were born and what time you were born, you can get an accurate reading for that. Cafeastrology.com. Don't forget it. Okay? But let's use a quick reference guide just because I don't really know these cards as good as I say I do. <laughs> no, it's way. The ones that I do know, I do know very well. But it's just because I draw them over and 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 over again. And the reason that I keep drawing them over and over and over again is because I ain't changing shit. And neither are y'all guys. So we're going to have to do something different. I guarantee you that. Okay? Seven of Wands. End of reversal. Don't expect an easy victory. In fact, victory at all may not be possible along the present course. Sometimes it's best to retreat and find more solid ground. Occasionally this card may indicate weakness or paranoia. That's in the past, so if you guys were feeling that way here recently in the past couple weeks to the past couple months to the last six years, it's for you. Let's get some clarification cards. Spirit, angels, ancestors. Let me get some clarification cards for Aries right here in the past with the Seven of Swords. One, two, three, four. That's it right there. Yes. Three of Pentacles, third party situation, or someone really talked your shit. No, wait. Somebody working hard on themselves because I forgot. It's not in the reversal. This is the upright. We also got the Page of Cups in the reversal. And we have the tower reversed, which means you dodged a tower moment here in the past, okay? And page of cups in the reversal. D d do I know? <laughs> no, I don't fucking know. Let's look it up. Might as well, right? Right. <laughs> Might as well. Page of cups. What we got? In the reversal. Lack of creativity, depression, anxiety, hearing voices in one head's not the good kind. Possible autism, low birth weight, unhappy childhood if representing the past. Also, drug overdoses, alcoholism, or conversely, simple indigestion. This is why you really need to verify what you see in expecting cards or by opening up, okay? Three of Pentacles. This is something about working really hard, work, 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 work. Or someone saying, you know what? That's a hard worker right there. We need him. Yeah, three of coins. So you a master at something. Whatever you do, if you got Aries in your chart and you're watching this video, you a master at your craft, son. You good at that shit, okay? Swordsman, Magnus, Stonecutter, any other occupation, this card shows great skill and achievement. Compare this to the Eight of Coins, which we don't have on the table right now, so I'm not going to do that, okay? <laughs> this may indicate the master himself or his masterpiece's work as studio or even a visit from clients. Similarly, it can represent artistic criticism. So if you're an artist, you're getting criticized, okay? Or a critique of one's work, an employee evaluation, quality assessment, even a promotion or a raise. So somebody could be like... You've been doing that real good out there. Why don't you come over here? Got something to offer you. Come here. Come over here. What is it we got to offer you? Something good for you. Okay? Something real good. All of these possi possibilities are positive in nature. So someone may be critiquing your work, but it's in a good way. They're like, damn. They do that better than anybody else does. Okay? Look to the surrounding cards and the nature of the question to determine exactly what is at play here. This card can occasionally indicate unexpected assistance once you have earned your sweat equity. Or, as I like to call it, sweat equity. Just playing. I just made that shit up. <laughs> Alright, yep. Did I ever look up the fucking... Did I look up the Seven of Wands? I don't know. Let's look. Let's look really quick. If I didn't, yeah. I'm pretty sure I just did, but I'm tired as fuck. I don't remember anything in the last ten seconds. Might as well fucking look it up again. Mm-hmm. Yep. Send the reversal. Don't expect an easy victory. Yep, I did look that one up. Let's look at this page of cups. Page of cuppers. Page of cusps. Page of clups. Page of clups. It's in the reversal. Lack of creativity, depression. I'm pretty sure I just read that one first for some reason. Okay, usually I do it in a certain order, but today I'm just all over the fucking place. Who knows? I don't care. I don't give a fuck. We also got the tower in the reversal. Yeah, let's see what the tower in the reverse is. Something about dodging the tower moment. Tower moments kind of suck. I ain't gonna lie. But guess what? We get through them. Because <laughs> we strong. We <laughs> motherfucking Aries. <laughs> tower. We found in our experience that this card indicates a time of rebuilding. So you guys are rebuilding here in the past. Yeah, you went through some kind of fucking shitty ass experience. And you were like, you know what? I think I'll just build up from the ground up by myself. 
And that's where you were. And that's where you started. Okay. <laughs> Rebuilding can only come after a period of disruption and chaos, and that is an awful lot of stone to move. So this does not indicate an easy or overly joyous time, but it does indicate a second chances and time to learn from one's mistakes. So hopefully you learn from your mistakes here in the past, Aries. <laughs> oh, I knew I was different than some of y'all. Apparently my fucking dumbass didn't. Who knows? Who knows? Who fucking knows? Not me. I don't know. Okay, let's look at the death card. Hopefully I'm not saying the F word too many times in here. Hmm. Maybe I should just replace it with truck. You trucking kidding me, bro? Okay, let's look at this death card in the reversal here. Death and the reversal. Not in the upright. Or in the side. Stagnation, refusal to let go, holding on to outdated ideas, a boring life. What is this that we could possibly be holding on to? A stagnating and causing our life to be boring. What could it possibly be? We'll see. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like I said, y'all got to forgive me today. I'm really just in a mood. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is what I do when I'm in a mood. I'm either really fucking mean and bitchy or I just act like a little kid, like fuck it. <laughs> what else have I got to lose? Five of swords reversed on the bottom of the deck. What does that mean? I don't fucking know. Let's look it up. Five of swords, the bottom of the deck. <laughs> In the reversal, an end to subjugation, freedom from oppression. Oh, so that's what could have happened if we would have let go of this. Yeah. Comes after someone has the nerve to stand up to false authority. More than likely, this will be a concerted team effort rather than any one individual. Okay. What is the hangman? In the reversal. What can that possibly be? Something about seeing shit the right way. Something about seeing, you know, it's a, it's a good thing. It is a good thing. Ah, oh, the joys of life of being young and alive and free without a care in the world. This is how those celebrity billionaire babies must feel every day. Running from party to party, laughing mercilessly and all the little people who actually have to work for a living. Oops, I used the W word, silly me. This shows an abandonment of responsibility, study, effort, or bothering to care. I think that's where I'm at right now. Yep. You guys might be too. I hope somebody else out there is. Otherwise, I'm just talking to this fucking camera by myself with nobody else in the room looking like a goddamn idiot. Okay? Let's look up this Nine of Wands, okay? Some type of recuperation, getting your shit back together out of some kind of hurtful fucking situation that you went through here, Aries. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Yep. <clears throat> Dedication, trustworthiness, a sense of duty, and the will to carry it out. Loyalty to a cause. That would be reading my tarot. And my Bible. I just started that today on my tarot channel. You won't be able to see that till tonight after I finish my challenge because I still have that whole fucking thing to do, okay? Because I didn't really do shit before work except get ready for fucking work. I woke up three hours before. Ask me why. I don't fucking know. I had to go walk my dog and pick up her dog shit every single day like I do because I'm a good human being. And by the way, you're supposed to do that. A lot of people are like, you don't have to do that. Well, you don't have to, but it gets into the drinking water. It makes it a lot harder to clear the fucking drink of water and shit like that. That's why I do it. I'm trying to take one step for humanity, you know? Oh no, one step for man, one big step for humanity. So something like that. Ah, victory through perseverance and determination, inner strength and a solid conviction in one's beliefs. A very worthy adversary. Okay, you guys are showing up in a strong position here with this nine of wands, your Aries. Also, physical or emotional solid fortress, Bastillion. You're a Bastillion, baby. Do you know what a Bastillion is? Me neither. Okay. Something worth defending, successfully defending your stuff, your beliefs, possessions, job, spouse, or anything that is in question against all opposition. All of it. Ain't nothing gonna oppose you when you not defend your shit. I guarantee you that. The person in question has a backbone. I mean, I'm rather skinny, so you could probably see it through my skin, but yeah. You got backbone, Aries. Good job. You're doing great. Let's put the star reversed. What is the star reversed? What is that? Something about... You know, I just read this like yesterday or the day before. I should know, but no, nothing's coming to me. I'm too fucking tired. Let's see what it says. Hope, faith, magic. Nope. That's in the upright. Or hopelessness, despair, lack of spiritual connection. Well, this is either you guys here, Aries, or this is someone in your energy. The reason that I say that is because there's water, and they're pouring water out. That's me th that makes me think of a water sign, which is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. You could have someone like that in your energy, okay, with just, like, a lack of spiritual connection. And they probably need to, like, try to connect with spirit. That's what I'm getting, okay? <clears throat> So let's look at this page of swords for the uh, future here. You could have an air sign in your energy. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, okay? 
but this is showing up as your future okay so if you don't have someone like that in your energy now or if you don't have that in your chart then you're going to uh -huh. <laughs> what's that page of swords say this implies a self oh it's, a, it's in the reversal yeah in the reversal so this is what it looks like in the reversal for you guys go ahead take a look at that one this implies self-righteousness or a demeaning manner poor communications ill-chosen words leading to arguments impatience and demotion evisceration irrationality or a brat so could be you here aries or it could be someone in your in your in your energy this is probably gonna be me i ain't gonna lie i might have to change something here in the present so that way i don't do that but my god told my People just push me to the edge, bro. They just push me all, 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 right there to the edge. And I'm like, mm, no, it don't look too cool down there. And I try to turn around and go back. It's fucking hard sometimes. One, two, three, four. Let's get one more four to clarify this page of swords for Aries in the future. One more game. One, two, three. What is it? What is it, Spirit? Just, just show me. Just show me, Spirit. <laughs> I'll put the one Okay, one, two, three, go. One, two, three. Got some devil energy in there somewhere. Somebody out there, it's in your energy and they only need to be. One, two, three, four. There we go. We got that Queen of Wands in the upright. You're showing up in a very powerful position here, Aries. I'm proud of you. Okay, we also have the Six of Pentacles in the reversal. I don't know what the fuck that means. Okay. And we also got the Ten of Cups. No, Nine of Cups. I regress. We also got the Nine of Cups, which means you are happy and content with the situation that you're in. However, keep in mind that you're not going to be happy sitting on that wooden bench for very long. Look at this motherfucker. Sitting on that wooden bench like, yep, I'm happy right here, right now. Give it about six hours, that ass going to hurt, okay? <laughs> Time to get up and do something else because you can't stay in this position forever. Okay, look up the Queen of Wands. This is a very powerful card. It is. You're showing up as a very powerful position as yourself here, Aries. In the Queen of Wands, there are several ways to read the Queens for ease and consistency as well as accuracy. We strongly recommend the following. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius woman, or you're dealing with someone like this in your energy, Aries. Okay, one of the two. Could be you. Could be that. Okay. Primary characteristics are courage, assertiveness, confidence, often open and friendly, outgoing, adventurous, honest, frank, resolute, reliable, hardworking. Also could be used for any self-assured, pleasant woman. Preferably with a strong fondness for animals and nature, possibly a tomboy. Now, this could be you, Aries, even if you're a male, or it could be a female that you were dealing with in your energy, or you could be a female dealing with a male like this, or you could be a female dealing with a female like this, or you could be a male dealing with a male like this, or you could have a dog. Okay, one of those 10 things. Six of Pentacles in the reversal. Something about money. I don't fucking know. Something about money. Something. Who fucking knows, right? Individual selfishness is an individual selfishness and narcissism. So, um, yeah. Pinnacles represent Earth. So Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn could be someone in your energy here like this, or it could be you if you have this sign in your chart. You might want to look at your natal chart just to know because a lot of people go on sun signs and it's really vague. It's like really super fucking vague. I just go on your sun sign, bro. So, individual selfishness and narcissism in person or action indicated are so concerned with their own well-being that they refuse to look out for the needs of others unless it benefits them directly somehow. This could be you, Aries, okay? If you're anything like me, this is most definitely me right here. Yeah. Usually insisting on payment before any services are rendered. That makes this card, this the card of scam, also blackmail or extortion. If this card comes in reverse, look at expecting cards to see if your client is being pressured or deceived. It very well could be but we also have this nine of cups okay which is a good it's a good one okay but um this person or you here in your energy pisces cancer or scorpio or you have that in your chart they're very comfortable with the situation that they are in and with their finances okay this is the fabled wish card it represents getting almost everything you want quitting the game on top and taking your winning home your winnings home you win this is you getting your wish or living your passions. Ideally, this is what the Eight of Cups leads to or just being supremely happy with what you have and not needing to toil or risk gaining anything more. Because why the fuck would you? <laughs> why risk it, right? Why risk it? You risk everything all the time and guess what? You get the ass into the fucking stick for it. Fuck that. I ain't risking shit right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is an idealistic card of satiation and sensual pleasure. So it's a good idea to have a clear vision of your wish before you have it delivered. So, guys... Get specific with your wishes, son. Big Bubba Matt, can you clarify this for Aries today, please? 
Aries hadn't even got to see me like this. This is how Caleb McDowell is whenever he's really tired and he just don't give a fuck about putting on a front for anybody anymore, okay? Caleb McDowell, 101 at ya. <laughs> Caleb McDowell, 101 at your service. One, two, three, let's go. Rolls Rolls truck, but the one is ain't in it. <laughs> My favorite part of that song is eat the pussy like a spinach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. One, two, three, let's go. Roll through his truck, but the windows ain't tinted. I ain't never leaving my she a dime. Why would I switch out a dime for a penny? Ooh. Ooh. Why would I switch out a dime for a penny? Ooh. Ooh. Why would I switch out a dime for anything? Okay. This is something that your significant other must need to know here, Aries, if you are dealing with them. It's a good thing they're watching this video because you sitting over here putting up a front telling them what you're going to do and who you're talking to. And guess what? Your ass ain't leaving me. <laughs> your ass ain't leaving them. Hell no. Nah. What are you, stupid? No, <laughs> I ain't fucking stupid. I guarantee you that, all right? I might even look dumb sometimes, but I guarantee you I ain't stupid, <laughs> okay? One, two, three, four. I might even act dumb sometimes, which is actually 99% of the time. The reason that, and, and this is a reason that you act dumb here, Aries. This is a reason that you act like a fool, okay? This is a reason that you do that. It's because... Whenever you don't and you actually show the information that you do have to people, everybody wants to come to you asking fucking questions, okay? They ain't paying you for the answers to these questions. They just coming up and asking, okay? No. <laughs> Not for this motherfucker, okay? I'm gonna play dumb all day long just to shut your ass up. You wanna ask some questions? Go find somebody willing to answer them, okay? It ain't gonna be me, because I'm gonna be sitting right here like, um, I just... I'm not sure. I don't have any idea, bro. Yeah. Why would I switch out a dime for a penny? <laughs> I guarantee you I fucking won't, okay? One, two, three, four. I'll be sitting there looking at the penny like, hmm, that's a nice looking penny. That's copper. But that dime though, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, one, two, three, four. That's all I gotta say about that. All right, I'll stop, I'll stop. Big Bubba Mac. What areas need to see today, son? One, two, three, four. What is it? He wants you to listen, okay? He about to tell you something. He about to tell you something you need to hear, okay? Listen to Big Bubba Mac. This guy got the answer, okay? Big Bubba. Get something to pop out for me, son. Okay, shit. Damn, we'll just pop out the whole fucking deck then. Why not? He said, fuck it. Shame. Somebody's feeling shameful right now. They just ashamed or they feeling shameful or you should be ashamed. Maybe because you do or say something here, Aries. Take it as it resonates. Flip the rolls, okay? I'm going to put this back in here because this literally is about half the fucking deck. Well, I'd say at least a seventh of it. Let me get a pop out, bro. One, two, three, four. No bueno. Payment. Pisces. All right. You could be getting a payment. You might have Pisces in your chart or you're dealing with one or something about a payment. You might have to make a payment and it's no bueno. It's not a good one. You got to pay for something here, Harry. Mother, daughter. Yep. Okay. You're going to have to pay for someone's mother, daughter, or something. They fucking pissed off at you or something here. No bueno. Gray area. There's a gray area that someone's trying to find, get in here, work their way in. You're looking at shit like it's black and white or they are. Okay. We also have a pregnancy. Someone could be pregnant or you're dealing with someone that's pregnant. We have cancer. You could have cancer in your chart or you're dealing with one or something else like that. Um, you could be a Virgo or you're dealing with one. Okay. You could have that in your natal chart or you're dealing with one. Something about a bracelet is important here or significant. You might be wearing a bracelet that either your mother or daughter gave you or you gave one something like that there could be a Sagittarius watching this or you have Sagittarius in your chart something about feathers is significant here a feather or feathers you could be seeing a lot of feathers black white or gray something about seeds is important or seed seeds or seeds libido something about your libido here okay your drive <laughs> something about that Shower is important here. Some of you guys either need to take a shower or you just got out of the shower or you really like to shower or that's where you're crying at if you're anything like me. Yeah, fuck it. Why would we cry outside the shower? People can see us, right? <laughs> Crazy. Breath work. Yeah, somebody needs to do some breath work. It's pretty easy. You just gotta do it. Ain't nothing to it but to fucking do it, son. <laughs> Like that oh feels so much better thank you guys all right message from the ancestors oracle card let's see what your ancestors got to say to you guys today what is it what do we have to say to aries today ancestors spirit guides god angels can we please get a message for the aries collective today this doesn't resonate with you 
then don't worry. It will resonate with someone watching this video. And if you haven't yet, please hit that like button down at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let me just get one to pop out. Just, just one. Let me just get one to pop out here. There we go. There it is. I was looking for that one all day long. Okay. What is it? Gardener. Cultivation. You're cultivating something or you're a gardener or you like to garden or you like cultivation or you like cultivating gardens or you're a gardener who likes to cultivate well while gardening. What else? Whew. Let me get another pop out. Come on, man. Don't be playing around with me now. Don't be playing around with me now. Come on, man. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, singer. We could have a singer watching this or you like to use your voice. Okay, if you're anything like me. Packing a Mac in the back of the yak backpack, rap cap, yap, 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 and a yapping at the exact same time. I tend to zero the acrobats on someone to practice, and that is to be able to break a motherfucking table or the back of a couple of. Can't say that word. <laughs> animal instinct. Okay. Yes. Someone out here needs to use their animal instinct, bro. Listen to your intuition. We have peacekeeper, serenity. You could be a peacekeeper, or you're serene, or you're dealing with someone like that in your energy. We also have explorer, adventurer. You could be an explorer or an adventurer or something like that. Maybe you like to go exploring or on adventures. You could be an artist or artesian or you're into making shit, okay? Because you're a craftsmanship. It's just on point, huh? Okay, let's look up this gardener card. One, two, three, let's go. Rolls Royce truck. Rolls Royce truck. What the one is it? Is that what it says? Truck? Rolls Royce truck? Is that what Rolls Royce is? I don't fucking know. Who knows? Not me. Not at this moment. I really should drink some coffee, but I ought to have to pee three times by now if I did. So, <clears throat> cultivation. Gardener. I'm telling you, you need to plant some seeds here, son, somewhere. Okay? Put it in there, Earl. You ever seen that show, My Name is Earl? That's just nasty. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> you ever seen that show, um, My Name is Earl? Yeah, he's like, what if I chop off my pinky toe, put it in an inky winky dog, because they're trying to shut down that little inky winky stand from the dude uh, that's like in competition with the other dude that Earl's like accidentally stole the dude's hot dog hut or something. And he's like, nah, you can't cut off your pinky toe. And then the dude's eyes just kind of, he just like looks to the left. He's like, you already cut off your toe, didn't he? He's like, yeah, it's in there, Earl. <laughs> that's why I said that. Just letting you know. This is what the card means. In prehistoric times, humans grew their gardens and forests, intermingling medicinal and food plants with the various flora that existed naturally. Through various epochs in history, gardening has not only been used to supply food and medicine, but also for decorative and aesthetic purposes. The gardener is one who prepares the soil as needed to provide the best possible circumstances for plants to grow. They tend the soil with love and care, nurturing the growth of the young plants by providing any other nutrients as necessary. These gardens can supply gifts of food for the gardener and their family as an exchange for the love and care of the gardener. Decorative gardens with flowers and trees provide visual and, sens and sensory pleasure, inspiring all for the elegant and aesthetic collaboration with the wild and natural beauty of Mother Earth. Hands-on gardening encourages appreciation for how the elements work synergistically to support the growth of food for all living beings. The increasing interest in and application of organic gardening assures us that with this love and care, we can reduce and potentially eliminate the toxic applica applications of insecticides and pesticides that predominated gardening and agricultural practices up until a few years ago. Now, this is what your ancestors want you to hear through me drawing this card. They are saying, in addition to nurturing the growth of plants and trees, what else are you cultivating in your life? Are you sowing seeds of love and care? Nurturing these with your blessings and intention? At this moment, I probably am not, but it's not for a lack of trying. And I'm hoping that you guys are. Are you paying attention to how you affect others? Nope, but I probably should be. But I hope you guys are. Do you support their growth emotionally, mentally, and spiritually at this moment? Fuck no. Oh my god. I really, 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 really want to. With one person. But I just can't bring myself to do it. Okay? What about yourself? Oh, heck yeah. Most definitely. Every single day. Are you tending to your own personal garden? Like 97 hours out of the day. Are you tending to your own personal garden, allowing it to flourish in ways that support your spiritual growth and awareness? It's time to examine ways you ignore or inhibit your spiritual growth and take measures that will cultivate your soul's path. Grow a plant from seed and observe how you feel when you pay consistent attention to this living being's needs. Sing to her, water her, 
Send your prayers and watch what happens. All right, I'll do it. Okay, you talk me into it. Fuck, I'll try. I gotta stop being a dickhead sometime, right? <laughs> it might even be today. Who knows? I mean, I doubt it, but it's worth a shot. Fuck it. Aries, that is going to be the end of your reading. I hope this resonated with someone. If it did, hit that like button at the bottom. Share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please, please, please leave a comment down in the comment section. I do read all my comments, okay? And I reply to all of them, too. Unless it's just a heart and an Aries symbol, I'm not really sure to say to that. I just uh, hit the like button, okay? Love you guys. Keep your head up. Love yourself first.